here, Paul Rykoff, founder and CEO of the Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America, the group partnering with us here at NBC and MSNBC on tonight's forum. Paul, this is a vision you have had for many years. We've talked about it. I just feel, you know, almost overwhelmed that we are finally getting this together through a lot of work on a lot of people's parts and you right in the middle of it. What do you and your members, the Iraq and Afghanistan veterans, want to hear from these two candidates who want to be in the Oval Office? Well, I think we want to hear why do you want to be Commander in Chief? Why can we trust you? Why can we put the lives of ourselves and our friends and our families in your hands? It is truly historic. We, we did have a vision to bring the candidates together. We wanted to do it in New York. We wanted to do it on veterans issues, which are different than foreign policy issues. Uh, we thought this would be the right place for them to put their political guns aside and address a veterans audience. So tonight we've got hundreds of IABA members from all around the country who are going to converge here on the incredible Intrepid. Uh, and there's never been anything like it in American history. So finally, veterans' voices, military voices, Gold Star family voices will be front and center in the political debate. It's long overdue. And we've always heard that people care most about the economy. For year after year, that has driven the conversation. National security didn't even come up in some of the presidential debates. Right. But the fact is that right now we are still fighting the longest war in American history in Afghanistan. Right. We are, whether we like it or not, involved, not in ground forces per se, by definition, but we're involved in Syria. Right, right. ISIS a threat, Ukraine still looming, the South China Sea. Yeah, there's a lot and, going on. Yeah, you know, what do military families care about most? Is it the VA and the scandals there? Well, we, care, we care about all of it, but I think we care about hearing that the candidates understand our life. Understand that for 15 years since, you know, the, the went down just behind us, we've been at war. Our families have been going through this for years. Our, our friends have been going over and over again. Right now, we've got friends in Iraq and Afghanistan, and often it feels like Forgotistan. It feels like America has moved on and, and left us behind. So tonight, the veterans get to ask the questions. They're going to speak for themselves. They're going to come from all political backgrounds, and they're really going to be united in enforcing the candidates to address our issues like VA reform, like suicide, like women's care, and many of the things that haven't been front and center until today. This is like Veterans Day. The only other time we've had this kind of focus is usually on Veterans Day. So it's an extraordinary moment, not just for veterans, 22 million veterans, but for all Americans who deserve to have this conversation. And we should stress that your organization is completely nonpartisan, that your involvement is nonpartisan. So Correct. this is a way to test both sides. Yeah. Uh, do, does the whole issue of trust and confidence, you know, how do people evaluate candidates when they either are active duty, retired, or have loved ones in harm's way. I think, you know, they evaluate candidates in the same way, you know, anyone else does. There, there's a whole mix of things that go in. A lot of them go with their gut. A lot of them do research. Uh, and we've seen Donald Trump is, is beating Hillary Clinton two to one in, in, in the military right now, according to the Military Times' latest poll. So he's got the advantage right now. It'll be an important night for both of them to be in the spotlight. And, and, and I'm excited to see the, the impromptu stories, the stuff that we haven't expected, the personal stories of veterans who want to hear their personal issues uh, addressed, and especially the VA reform, right? We've We've talked a lot about it. You say you're going to reform the VA. How are you actually going to do it? How are you going to make our lives better? And how are you going to reform maybe the most unyielding, uh, the most unwieldy uh, bureaucracy in the federal government? A quick question. When we've tested people, uh, they, veterans, like the VA. They what like about the, privatization? The, right, the, the quality of care is, is, is favorably rated consistently. Access to care is a problem. The VA has had tremendous problems, but there are also some bright spots. The GI Bill, for example, is a tremendous bright spot. But today, we're going to hear those questions in many We ask folks to use the hashtag IAVA Forum if veterans are watching. Even if you're in Iraq and Afghanistan, use that hashtag. We'll retweet them. And we'll make you a part of the conversation, not just today, but all the way through the election and after the election on Veterans Day. We're going to come back together in this city on 11-11, just a couple days after Election Day. We want all the candidates and all Americans to be united as Americans and move forward. Thank you so much, as Thank always. Thank you. A real pleasure. Oh, it's such always. a privilege. Thank, Thank you, you. ma'am. Always. So much for being